Hi, I'm Lara Raffles. I'm a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic and I specialize in taking care of patients with inflammatory bowel disease. Today I'd like to take a couple of moments to talk to you about the different treatments we have available to treat our patients with Crohn's disease. We choose our treatments for our patients based on the pattern of their disease and the location of their disease within the gastrointestinal tract. We also like to consider complications the patients may experience from their disease and what medications they may have previously already tried. We often approach our patients using what we call a pyramid approach, meaning at the bottom of the pyramid we choose medications that are generally quite safe to take. And then as the disease becomes more moderate or severe in nature, or as a patient fails therapies, we move up this pyramid and use different therapies that may be a bit more aggressive in getting the inflammation under control. At the bottom of this pyramid are the mesalamine type drugs. Some physicians in the IBD community feel that these drugs are not as effective in treating Crohn's disease, but actually in some cases they can be helpful, particularly in mild disease, and if a patient is taking one of these drugs and it's working, it's certainly worth continuing. The other medications that we use to treat Crohn's disease include the immunomodulators. The immunomodulators include drugs such as azathioprine or 6 mercaptopurine. These drugs have been used for many years and do a good job at keeping the, drug, keeping the disease under control. The issue with these medications is they can take a few months to become effective, so they don't work quickly. And they also require, require monitoring with blood tests over time. As we move up the pyramid, the next class of drugs include the anti-TNF alpha drugs. And these are drugs such as infliximab or adalumumab or sertiluzumab. These drugs have really changed the way we treat inflammatory bowel disease, and particularly Crohn's disease, and are very effective at treating the more moderate and severe cases of Crohn's disease. Again, these drugs require monitoring as well, so patients on these drugs need to be followed closely by their gastroenterologist. There are other drugs that we use less commonly, and that would include methotrexate, which is also an immunomodulator type drug and often used for other autoimmune diseases. And then natalizumab, which is not used as often throughout the GI community, but again with close monitoring can be a very effective drug. I didn't mention steroids, but certainly steroids have a position in treating our patients with Crohn's disease as well. Steroids should be considered a short-term treatment for Crohn's disease because used in the long term, they can cause a lot of different side effects. So usually we try to use steroids to bridge to another treatment. And then finally, I have to include surgery as a treatment because in the right patient under the right circumstances, surgery can actually really improve a patient's quality of life. And if any patient with Crohn's disease who does require surgery should really seek out the care from an experienced colorectal surgeon, such as the surgeons that we have here at Mayo Clinic. And then finally, in patients who are not good candidates for surgery and who have failed all med conventional medical therapies, we can consider clinical trials. And there are a lot of great clinical trials out there that do give a great opportunity to patients to try a drug that may be exciting and up and coming in the field of inflammatory bowel disease. Thank you for your time and hopefully you learned a little something from this talk.